Lorenzo Lamas, a familiar face in the world of entertainment, has left a lasting impression on audiences. Whether it was his role in a film or a memorable TV appearance, many have a first encounter etched in their memories. What do you remember about the first time you watched him on screen? What sets Lorenzo Lamas apart, making him a timeless symbol of the industry? It could be his charismatic presence, acting prowess, or a combination of qualities that resonate with fans. Share your thoughts on what makes him an enduring figure in the entertainment scene. We're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Lorenzo Lamas coming up. Keep watching for more. Lorenzo Lamas, known for his extensive filmography, has left an undeniable mark on the world of cinema. With a career spanning several decades, he has showcased his talent across various genres, making him a respected figure in the industry. Some of his most notable projects include the action-packed Renegade, where he portrayed the rugged character Reno Reigns. The series gained a massive following, solidifying his status as an action star. For those new to his work, Renegade serves as a thrilling introduction to his on-screen prowess. In the realm of film, Snake Eater stands out as a must-watch. The action film highlights his ability to command attention with a charismatic presence, delivering a performance that resonates with audiences. The gritty narrative and intense action sequences make it a compelling choice for fans and newcomers alike. For those seeking a departure from the action genre, his foray into comedy with Body Rock provides a delightful surprise. This film showcases his versatility as he takes on a different kind of role, displaying a lighter side to his acting repertoire. Another gem in his filmography is Mask of Death, a riveting thriller that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. His portrayal of a determined character caught in a web of mystery adds depth to the narrative, making it a gripping cinematic experience. In summary, his filmography is a tapestry of diverse roles, showcasing his ability to excel in various genres. Whether you're a fan or a newcomer, Renegade, Snake Eater, Body Rock, and Mask of Death are essential watches that capture the essence of his contributions to the world of entertainment. Lorenzo Lamas, a dedicated volunteer pilot for Angel Flight, generously donates his time to providing free air transportation for medical reasons to patients in need. The charitable organization aims to assist those who cannot afford or tolerate public transportation to medical facilities. Born to an Argentinian father and an American mother of Norwegian descent, he has a diverse cultural background. His family's roots extend to Norway through his mother's side, adding a layer of cultural richness to his heritage. Notably, Lorenzo Lama's eldest daughter, Shane Lamas, gained recognition as a contestant on The Bachelor, also known as The Bachelor, London Calling. In summary, he contributes to philanthropy through his involvement with Angel Flight, showcases a diverse cultural heritage, and has a familial connection to the world of reality television through his daughter Shane. Fernando Lamas, a friend of Jane Wyman, held baby Lorenzo Lamas in his arms. Two decades later, he would share the screen with Wyman on Falcon Crest, portraying her grandson. The show marked the beginning of his television career, a path that would later intertwine with his diverse family and unexpected experiences. With a tattoo on his upper back, Lorenzo once paid homage to his father's passions, women and horses. A unicorn riding woman adorned his shoulder, a symbol of familial connection. Recently, this tribute underwent transformation by Ink Master Tommy Helm, winner of the first season of Ink Master. The woman and unicorn were replaced by a conquistador on a blue horse, a more fitting representation of his paternal homage. His familial ties extend beyond inked tributes. He fathered six children, each a testament to different chapters of his life. With Michelle Smith, he welcomed A.J. Lamas and Shane Lamas. Another daughter, Peyton Ashbrook, arrived during his time with then-girlfriend Daphne Ashbrook. The later union with Shauna Sand brought Alexandra, Victoria, and Isabella into the family fold. In the labyrinth of his life, connections and experiences merge. From early associations with Jane Wyman to the intricate web of fatherhood, his journey unveils unexpected turns and transformations. A tapestry woven with ink and family, each thread contributes to the unique portrait of a figure whose life resonates beyond the screen. When Esther Williams, his stepmother, passed away on June 6, 2013, at the age of 91, it marked a significant moment in Lorenzo Lama's life.
Beyond the screen, family ties played a crucial role, shaping his experiences and connections. During his time on Falcon Crest in 1981, he encountered a pivotal moment that influenced his career. While working on the set, challenges with lines arose. It was Jane Wyman, a seasoned actress and co-star, who offered guidance, cautioning against the pitfalls of drug use. This unexpected mentorship underscored the camaraderie among the cast and the lessons learned in the world of television. In the realm of friendships, his social circle included notable figures such as Eric Estrada, Patrick Duffy, Joan Van Ark, Susan Sullivan, David Selby, William R. Moses, Larry Minetti, and Larry Wilcox. These connections outside of the professional sphere provide a glimpse into his personal network and the bonds forged over the years. In conclusion, Lorenzo Lama's life is woven with familial threads, industry insights, and unexpected guidance. From the mentorship of Jane Wyman to the diverse friendships he cultivated, each aspect contributes to the intricate tapestry of his journey, both on and off the screen. Working towards a secondary income as a commercial helicopter pilot instructor, Lorenzo Lamas has set his sights on expanding his career beyond acting since 2013. Alongside his primary vocation in the entertainment industry, he is determined to navigate the skies and share expertise in flying. This pursuit showcases a commitment to diversifying skills and income streams. In October 8, 22, legal action unfolded in the Los Angeles Superior Court as Lorenzo Lamas filed for divorce from Shauna Sand. Citing alleged past physical attacks, he obtained a restraining order against her. This legal move marked a significant chapter in his personal life, revealing the challenges and complexities faced outside the realm of show business. During formative years, a childhood fascination with Batman was evident in Lorenzo Lamas. This early interest hints at diverse influences shaping entertainment preferences and possibly contributing to a later career in the world of acting. As he continues to navigate the dynamic landscapes of both the entertainment industry and aviation, Lorenzo Lama's journey unfolds with unexpected twists and turns. From legal battles to childhood inspirations, each aspect adds a layer to the narrative of a man who seeks to soar in different arenas, both on and off the screen. A seasoned actor, Lorenzo Lamas, known for his extensive career in the entertainment industry, holds a commercial pilot's license, showcasing his commitment to diversifying skills. At the age of 23, actress Jane Wyman became a mentor and friend, guiding him through the intricacies of the profession. Their relationship began before co-starring on Falcon Crest in 1981, where he played Wyman's grandson. Remarkably, he remained the sole actor to appear in all 227 episodes of Falcon Crest. Even after the series concluded, the bond between Lamas and Wyman endured until her passing in 2007. Beyond his acting career, Lamas has ventured into aviation, aiming to share his expertise as a commercial helicopter pilot instructor. This pursuit reflects his dedication to expanding his career beyond the confines of show business. Notably, in 2002, a significant chapter unfolded in his personal life as he filed for divorce from Shauna Sand, obtaining a restraining order against her due to alleged past physical attacks. This legal battle offered a glimpse into the challenges faced outside the spotlight. From mentorship by Jane Wyman to a commitment to aviation, his journey is marked by diverse experiences and challenges, providing a nuanced understanding of the man beyond the screen. This article delves into his multifaceted life, touching on enduring friendships, career milestones, and personal trials, revealing a narrative that goes beyond the ordinary. In the realm of television, significant moments unfolded for Lorenzo Lamas during the final season of Falcon Crest in 1981. Alongside Susan Sullivan, he visited Jane Wyman in the hospital as the production continued. This behind-the-scenes camaraderie added depth to his experiences on the long-running series. Transitioning to another phase in his career, Lamas underwent a transformation for the last season of Renegade in 1992. Notably, he opted for hair extensions, a departure from his previous seasons where he showcased his natural hair. This shift in appearance marked a deliberate choice in portraying his character. Beyond the screen, he aligns himself with conservative Republican values. His support for political figures like Ronald Reagan and George W. Bush reflects his engagement in the political landscape. This aspect of his life adds another layer to the actor's identity, showcasing a blend of entertainment and political affiliations. 
From hospital visits with Susan Sullivan to the sartorial choice of hair extensions, his journey extends beyond acting. His political stance further highlights the diverse facets of his identity. This multifaceted perspective offers a nuanced understanding of the man behind the roles, providing insights into both his professional and personal spheres.